And again. There we go. It was so a quality as well. Yeah. So you, you actually recording that? Yes, it's recording. You, you oh god, no my ass! I think you brought the chair then. It's a sofa, Brad. So, Brad, are you looking forward to playing Metal Gear Rising Revengeance while you're seeing Raiden just do his Raiden catters in the background? I've been meaning to pick this game up because I'm a big fan of the Metal Gear series. It's like six quid, and I've played through it many, many times. I think on this channel, in fact, there is a playthrough of me playing it when I get progressively drunk as I go through. But we're not doing that today. We're going to be showing it off. So let's press start first. And oh, God, no, no. Oh, God, no, we'll see me Xbox Live now. <laughs> You know we'll what? You'll have to put some over the top of it. We'll blur that, yeah, doge. Yeah, yeah. A little doge. <laughs> oh, for fuck, he's so on screen for so <laughs> He's on screen for so long. <laughs> Cannot connect to Xbox Live. You know what? If you are playing a game, you will lose any... What? Wait, you can't save the game if it's not connected to Xbox Live. No, that's, no, that's fine. We can save it. File name, six hours playthrough. File name, mm. new. This game features an auto-save function. There we go. So Six hours is a roughly a playthrough. So okay. That was me playing through drunk. Check it for downloaded content. I don't have any. You do. So we've got we've set our options first. Subtitles, obviously. Vibra right. Vibration on. Language. English. Music. 10, 10, 10, 10. Perfect. Let's fucking go, son. Story, man. Oh. What New else game. is there other than story? <laughs> yeah, why even have the option? Uh, normal. I'd play on hat. Play with tutorial. Do you want to see the tutorial? Just so you know how the game works. Um, I know what I'm doing. We'll show it off. Just so you can see right. the various gameplay mechanics we've got. Oh man, this gets so fucking good. Oh, here it is. Look at it. So good. Oh, it's like a proper little VR something. It is, yeah. Starting up. Oh, look at that man. There we go. He's a character. He's, he's Doctor. Why has he got a K in there? What? Because he's Doctor. To be edgy. Yes. Oh, God, look at that. The thing is, though, why doesn't he hasn't got an ass? Do you think Raiden complained? It's like Rose says I've not <laughs> Rose says I need to be dummy thick. Yeah, you just run. Just automatic. Just, just parkour. Yeah. Automatic parkour. Just Alex Mercy way across the level. Like no 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 more pressing like, you know, the jump button to go through, it's just automatic. I like how you've got move and then ninja run. Yeah, ninja runs run. It's not run, it's ninja. It's like Assassin's Creed where you just hold a button to climb. Yes. Because you should be spending more of your time focusing on like sick combos. Ninja run! One. And this is what the thing that broke the game up. You can slash everything and whatever you slash it, it cuts. Four. One more. Look at that. Oh. Like our mutual friend does in his garden. Just with bottles. <laughs> so we have a friend who does that. This is not a joke. Uh, we both know a guy who, like, he would collect bottles over and he would stand in his back garden cutting them. Did he ever upload any to Facebook? Uh, I think there was one video he uploaded. Oh, that's the fucking one. Did you ever what? get tempted to join in? I died ago. All right, cause I, was, I got annoyed when I came around once I found out he'd been dicking around with his sword and not let me have a go. <laughs> well, this is the first real fight. Um, obviously, I've got the high frequency blade. You remember that, don't you? From I do, yeah. Metal Gear Solid 2. He has a high frequency machete. Oh. Everything in, the, everything in the future of Metal Gear Solid is high frequency. Which makes me think that Raiden has a high frequency penis. So why is he not getting slashed into pieces? Because obviously you've got to weaken a guy first. Well, I mean, surely being hit with a sword weakens them to the point where they all go. It does. You get that in a moment. Zandatsu comes later. First, though, just, just got to combo this guy's ass off. so unrealistic. Look at the number of times he's getting hit with a sword and not falling apart. We will do it in a moment. Wait, I've not got the good cyborg <laughs> body yet. So this is the cyborg body from Resident Evil 4. So this is where Raiden can do, already, can break dance geckos to death. Which is the greatest thing. Oh, I know, uh, Dr. R. And here's the basic of the gameplay, parrying. Parry is the keystone of your defense. Thank you, Dr. R. So you've got a regular parry, where you just hold the sword on block. Like you hold the block up like, towards the enemy. Oh, he's I'm just whooping his ass too hard. Please attack me, sir. Oh, can just stab me in the asshole. Come on. And if you time it just right, you get a perfect. Oh, God. Not, I, not like that. I say, I'll lock on, there we go. Come on. No, oh, damn it, I'm doing really bad. Oh god, I'm embarrassing myself here. I thought you were good at this game. I am. A bit. It's really weird to see... There it is. You get the perfect parry, you get like an instant kill. Or an attack that just does like massive damage. It's not seen anyone get cut up. 
Just wait. This is the tutorial. That's all I'm here for. Here we go. Draw foes in as close, but parry them at the, to lead them open to a counter attack. And you get to the point in the game where you are counter attacking counter attacks. And you're like, ting, 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 ting. And like, duel of fakes just fades in from the background. Like, da, 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 da. Slice your foot. Here we go. He says that, but you can't. You can, he says that you can't parry every attack. You can parry every attack in the game. There we go. Here we go. <sighs> wow. I'd like to point out as well, he's still attacking me with no legs. There we go. What's your <laughs> preferred slice? Well, the thing is, like, when you play through the game the first time, everyone always just goes mental and goes, just like slashes the shit out of everybody. But I like just cutting off like the very top of their head. <laughs> just because it looks so stupid. Or cut like the toe ends of their toes off and then run off and I, leave them. I think I just quarter them in an X. You can't so, do that. Just so you got like the, the we'll, color no, we'll mix it up. Yeah. Depending on what you do. So here's the story. Here's the president of uh, Future Africa. Don't worry, um, we're not gonna be with him very long. Oh. And here's the guy who, for some reason, looks almost identical to the president of Future Africa. Almost like they just used the same model. And just put a beard on it. Yeah. And here's some Future Africa children. Oh, I love it, man. I like how we've got all this like geopolitics going on to make you think it's a Metal Gear game. And then you scroll over and some fucking robots! <laughs> including <laughs> Raiden wearing a suit. You can unlock this costume, it's fucking great. I love it. What suit Raiden? Yeah, suit Raiden. Well, that's the Metal Gear Solid way, isn't it? You complete the game in the hardest mode, you get the tuxedo. In this case, here we go. So they're talking about the future and saying, like, oh, everyone's a robot now. And if you're not a robot, you have, you've got cybernetic enhancements, because what they do is they suppress emotions such as fear, making you a more effective combatant. Wow. War has changed, you might say. Yeah, it has. So we're not cyborg riding by this point? No, he's cyborg riding. He is cyborg riding. Yeah, he's got the skin over his face. Right. Yes. Well, he's Metal Gear Solid 4 riding at the end of Metal Gear Solid 4, where he yeah. gets the, um, the, oh, skin, the, the skin, yeah, the skin put over his body, so he looks like a Terminator. But do you not get to see... How he goes from man rider to robot rider. Yes, that's why this is the beginning mission. This is your prologue mission that establishes how you become cyborg rider. But he already is cyborg rider. Oh, right, sorry. Uh, yeah, people probably might be watching. Why is Raiden a cyborg? It's because the Patriots caught him while he's trying to rescue Sonny and experimented on him and removed his head. But that's not in this game? No. So they made a game about Raiden as a cyborg, but not in the game. It's set after Metal Gear Solid 4, yes. Right. I love his sunglasses. He's too cool. Oh, look at that car. Don't zoom in on it. What is Someone's blocking a lead vehicle. And there's your um, the big titty um, advice lady. The there's always. I, I'd say like that's offensive, but that is a her personality is big titty advice lady. Oh, and no. here he is. It's the fucking man, the ledge. See, he's got an ass. Why doesn't Ryden have an ass? <laughs> Look at that. He does squats. He's clearly the more advanced model. Yeah, the latest model has just the biggest, fattest robot ass. Do you reckon he stores weapons in it? Of course he does. One in each sheath. Well, no, what you see, if you look at his sheath, his sheath is a gun. He's got a gun sword. He's, he's got a sword. He's got a gun that fires swords. I feel so bad for this guy. He has one line of dialogue and it's, ouch. Jesus. And it's not blood as well, by the way. Because, obviously, if that was blood, this game would have a higher rating. It's cyborg blood. Do you know that, that was blood? No, it's not. It's cyborg. It's like the juice they put inside of the cyborg. Don't worry. So every single person you kill isn't actually, like, it's not blood no, at all. No, they're a robot, yeah. It's, like, do you know when they say that Raiden doesn't have blood? That he has, like, um, what is it? Nano machines. That's literally their way of covering up the fact that they yeah. have blood everywhere. Like in Samurai Jack, where you'd cut robots in half and it was all the oil <laughs> and wires. That is the goofiest smile. Oh, I love it. It's big shit eating grin. A cyborg. What is happening? Do you think when that guy went in... Like when he's looking at Raiden and he knows he's a cyborg too and he sees that he's got like realistic human looking skin and a haircut and he's like, I've got a fucking barcode on my forehead. So like, what do you like? My employer is an idiot. Oh no. In the future. Future rocket launcher. I love as well they established because you think why are there not more guns used in this world? And it's because high frequency blades can cut through everything, bullets can't penetrate cyborg skin. Oh. So when you fight 
um, enemies in this game with guns, they just bounce off riding. I mean, it's like that's why they use the swords for close quarters combat, because they can cut through you. The bullets can't, unless they use high frequency bullets. Oh, burn out! I love a crossbow with high frequency arrows. Do it. Do robots really have friends? Oh, he's the Prime Minister of Future Africa. Oh, high heels. I love it. <laughs> Takes up clothes. No, it's only the jacket, but look. He took the shirt off as well. I like to think while the jacket's <laughs> floating through the air, he's unbuttoning his shirt and undoing his tie while everyone looks at him. He's like, no, don't worry, guys, I got it. And there it is. The high frequency blade, which comes in, it's a sheath inside a sheath. It's a suitcase, then a sheath, then yeah. a blade. That I will admit, that is the coolest looking fucking sword. It's so awesome. And claws off the way so you can't run backwards? Yeah. Let's get this over with. Oh, there it is. Quinton. I think it's Quinton Flynn. Love this guy voice actor. Oh, look at it. It's so stupid. The solid eye system. It's great. And now the game begins. Yeah. So now you can slice people up. Oh, no, no. I'm not bothered. Wait, so you you can what? Just, yeah, you can just leave. <laughs> oh, no. I have to fight these guys. Oh. Okay. Which game? Ow. Good start. If you look as what I like, um, it's the Metal Gear Solid 4, um, uh, Good start. the hood. Can you see it? What is? Look at the hood in the Solid Tom Radar system. There we go. Oh, Top. it is. The, it's the same system. I haven't played Metal Gear Solid 4 for a long time. Come on, guys. Ow. That was a really good slash. You know what? I'll give you that one, mate. I think you were good at it. Oh, I'm strapped up. I was trying to parry. There we go. And obviously, because it has to be done. <laughs> oh man, like, this guy's at work. I like to think he's in this office building right now. He's really struggling with that paperwork. He's been doing. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that it falls into itself as well is yeah, really cool. Can this. you pop his tyres? Just no. his tyres. <laughs> no, why would you pop the tyres? Well, can, can you not aim with a sword? Uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Alright, Matt, see you in a bit. But can, but can, the, the world will know that Raiden was here. <laughs> can you aim with a sword on like normal buildings like that? Like when you Not on in, buildings now, like most things people. in the environment. You can, yeah, but um, it wastes your blade mode. So I prefer to always go for a counter because you get like basically a free hit. Yeah. And look. Like the guy's shooting me in the face and the bullets are doing less damage than the sword. What would you do? <laughs> like, if you saw an opponent do that, what is your counter? <laughs> Just go back and hit him again. These guys are dedicated, though. You gotta admit. Come on, what you got? I wish there was a taunt button. I really do. Is that the one thing missing from this game? Yeah. Jetstream Sam in the DLC spoiler has a taunt. Mm. Can you cut off just one of his hands next time? Yeah. Well, a, a gameplay mechanic in this game is cutting off people's hands. They have data in them. Yeah. Which you can use to get new swords. Look at that, dude. Yeah. Personal guard. Doesn't he also drink their spines later on? Yes. Yeah. That's after I get the upgrade. Oh, look at that. With his, blue, with his Bluetooth headset on. He drives a Mercedes. You can tell. Oh, it's Ray. So, I'd like to point out, Brad, um, what does Raiden do at the end of Metal Gear Solid 2? Defeats. Yeah, what's a the lot of what's Rays. the what's the final thing he fights? The biggest, baddest thing in the game. It's Metal Gear Ray, isn't it? I was gonna say Solidus, but you know. yeah, Solidus is yeah <laughs> the sword fight at the end. But yeah, he fights. I think in the hard, the hardest mode, twenty five rounds. Yeah, and isn't this and this is the prologue? And we're five minutes in, and Ray turns up. And it's not just Ray; it's an upgraded Ray. Well, yeah, it's got red bits on it. That means it's an upgrade. Yes. Oh. Ooh. He's dead. I mean, fair enough, it might not be blood coming out of them, but they're very much dying. Oh yeah, those people are dead. The idea is though, obviously when you're a robot, like, there is a person in there, but because you are the robot, uh, you have no fear. And you have like you turn off you have like no pain inhibitors. But I'm more for the purposes of like racing the game. Oh yeah, yeah, that guy's dead. Yeah. People are getting murdered. Really hard as well, I'd like to point out. This guy's dying that guy died especially hard. Because he got giant scissor knives put to the neck and then got his head cut off. Hello. He's human, though. Oh. 
Which is why he's not getting immediately sliced up. Yes. <laughs> Dead ass. Even he's got an ass. Everyone's got an ass but Raiden. What's this about? Oh, even he's got an ass! Look at that chunky. <laughs> Look at him. Also, as well, all the cyborgs for some reason have crotch plates. <laughs> Look at his face. He does look stupid, but I appreciate how his um, all the armor designs are like based on like samurais and things like that. And he's got like the traditional kabuki helmet on. The idea there, like when you slice his head, it slides off to the side. So that's what those armors are designed for. Yeah. The SOP. Look at that, look at that ass. And Ray's just chilling. <laughs> he's just there. The fact that Raiden doesn't give a fuck about it as well is what cracks me up. It's like, oh yeah, I've, I've beat 25 rays with a rocket launcher. Now I'm a robot. I got this. I'd love it if they remade that Don't fight in Metal Gear Solid 2, but with Ninja Raiden. Oh, it, it would So you just end. slice through all of them in like five seconds. Well, you'll see how useless Metal Gear Ray is in this universe, because I'm about to kick its ever-loving shit in. Like, Ray is going down. And I'd like to point out, this is basic bitch rider. This is before you get any of the upgrades. Oh yeah, I, oh, I forgot. The, the giant robot. Uh, I really wish you said not again. <laughs> That'd be great, just into the... <laughs> not again! Why does it always happen to me? Poor so, Ryder just can't, like, can't go shopping without a ray attack. Just again. everywhere he goes. Just, right, that could be a thing. So, do you remember where the guy said I can't parry everything? Um, I would just like you to keep that in mind during this fight against Ray. Okay. Although I'm a bit worried that I've got slightly less health. I'm a bit worried that you've been too arrogant and you're going to get shot. Nah, I'm fine. Oh, as, long as, oh, as long as you're running, you are you block bullets automatically. Mm. So, so you want to go, Ray? Here we go. Even Ray's got an ass. Look at that. That, that Asian 47 tank. The, the ninja run. Can't wait for this. Please drop her health. I'm trying to get some health back before I start getting my shit pushed in. Oh. There we go. Feel better now. Right, let's go fuck up Ray. Hello. <laughs> what do you do against this tactic? <laughs> the guy controlling this, this is an unmanned Ray. You're just watching this happen. It's like, how do you counter this technique? <laughs> this new, let's like, bullets don't work. Oh, let's like, actually combo it. That doesn't actually do much damage. This does though. Oh, there we go. Hi, Ray. You good? You shooting? Right, so I want to show off something cool. So I've not actually got the achievement for it yet, I don't think. Okay. So there is an achievement of cutting its tail off, which you can only do if you do a certain thing. So. Yeah. Remember I said you can't parry everything? Fuck you, Doctor. I can parry Metal Gear Ray. If it looks like Metal Gear is a bit of a bitch, there is the first fight of the game. Yes, ow. Oh, you can't parry everything, right? You, you can, you can dodge that though. Later in the game, you do get a dodge, which lets you dodge um, everything. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> Just <laughs> even classic. it out. That's the bet. That's when you first play this game, that is all you find yourself doing. So how are we cutting the tail off? You have to parry a specific attack, uh, which it does when it's um, on lower health. Right. There it is. Here we go. You have to parry the tail whip. Just the tip. <laughs> Just the tip, look, and it takes it down to like minimum health, look. <laughs> I didn't see an achievement pop up. Though. I must have got it in a previous playthrough. Ah, right. There is an achievement for doing that. But you, you have to parry the tail specifically. And the idea is you're supposed to drop all the way down while just like slashing it hundreds of times, but I was like cutting the very tip of it off. Just because you know it pisses Ray off. <laughs> just. Always oh, just the time. Always piece. go for one. Come on, Ray, what you got? Ray, look at it. He's such a bitch. Oh, God, no. I say as it fires this, this world destroying laser beam. It's just man of stealing its way through the city. Stop oh, that shit. blade. Ah! Ooh. Uh. Oh, are you ready, Brad? Uh. Are you going to pick it up? No, I'm not going to pick it up. Fuck you! Uh, what? Bear in mind, this is basic bitch riding right now. Fuck you. Oh, that's a screenshot. That's a, that's the trailer shot. That sells you on the game. So, all in all, how are you liking the new and improved riding so far? I'd give that an A. I, I think the tightness in my jeans would say, uh, <laughs> Would you? I <laughs> approve. Th things are alright. 
I the performance I was just given is by like my people on Codec. And they've said, yeah, I give that an A. So I beat a Metal Gear Ray single-handedly and ended it with an armbar. I armbarred a robot, and they don't care. Like, Ninja Run's fun, but in locations like this, it kind of falls apart. Yeah. It's like, it's like, Raiden, what are you doing? So, as good as it is, sometimes it just completely um, falls flat. Which is fine. The game can't be perfect every it single can't, time. It can't, can it? It's because the combat's too good. Yeah, they spent all their time on combat. Oh man, he got really far. I like to mention he got like 12 feet. I was going to say, you were fighting that Ray for quite a while. I didn't. To be, to be fair, that pro that fight scene probably took like three minutes. He, yeah, but three minutes, is he could have ran further than that. Right, so. Unless he was watching. Here's the first bonus. Oh, you go in there? Yeah. Whoop. I'm not sure how many of these I've got. Oh, I've already got that one. Yeah. Now you find secrets in. Oh, data storage, one of 20. I love games where they've got slow of like The that. thing is, though, you only get a bonus if you collect all 20, and I can't remember where they are. So I'll try and find as many as I can. Oh, how do I get through? It's like the fucking uh, Kiritan frogs. Yeah, in fact, oh, there's like God. 64 of them. Please. And if you miss a single one, you don't get a stealth. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking. Are you kidding me? Did I mess that up? Oh, God. Right, one more time, Ryder. There, there we go. go. Ninja up the stairs. The thing is that you could walk up the stairs or just do this. Right? No, Ryder, <laughs> no! Ah. He's not very good at his job, is he? He is. It's just, I am just getting used to the... Oh, he's back. Wait, that's another ray? No, it's the same ray. He's got another arm, bro. Oh, I thought you cut his entire body off. No, I cut his arm off. Oh, right. So he's only got one arm now. And I want to think, like, this ray is one confident motherfucker. It's like, I kicked his ass when it was fully equipped. It's back for another round. Oh, God, that hit. It's got the advantage now, though, because you're on a rooftop, which means you've yeah, got... Yeah, like, and it's just going to laze me you've in You've got the higher back. ground. It's got the high ground. We just stab it always has the high ground. It's like yeah, he's, he's 400 foot tall. There we go. Uh... <laughs> I know that it's not as cool, but I, is it cooler actually? Because I much prefer doing that. I think if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it all the way and just put the tiniest shred. Every, off. every single thing I thought. Also, you're still, you're still cutting too much off. Also, look at these missiles. Yeah, right. Get wrecked. Like missiles, I'm just cutting them to pieces in midair. So I like to think when about this because uh, later in the game there's a boss fight that takes place in the rain, and the raindrops actually um, slow down. So I like to think that all the all the fight scenes actually take place in about three seconds. It's just that Ryder moves that fast. Mm. I told you, man. I want I, the tiniest cut. I, Ray I want a sliver. Ray is so like you got, like got a great. Oh, got it hit me. Ray is just such a bitch in this game. I feel bad for it. Like the main antagonist of the previous game is on 0.1%. Ow. It hit me with the missile. Uh. So all, basically, it's shooting missiles that are designed to kill me, and it's just giving me hell. Ow. There we go. One swing. Tiny oh, Are you ready, bro? Tiny No, you're ready. <laughs> That's oh, my God. He's, he's legolasing it up. Yeah. He's even got the blonde hair. And the bit we can't hear is the music in the background right fucking now. And the music is getting so good. Uh, Tiny sliver. Uh, <laughs> fuck you. Now he's got no arms. The fuck you got? But Brad. Do you, like, really Brad, do you think the fight's over? Of course. We've got to do one cool thing. And it is, of course. Because it's still got a part of the body left. Is the oh. Oh god. Oh, I hate this country. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got <laughs> places to go. Kind of follow that rainbow. Do, 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 do. Oh, God, no. Fuck you, Ray. Fuck your shit. This looks like one of those games where you can either go too far and it'd be like too it, much yeah. but then you can keep going yeah. and it becomes awesome it goes more. all the way around and it's just an like 11 this, on 10 yeah. this fucking shit well that's the way it's the the stereotypical tropey way to show that the character is now a badass introduce an enemy from the last season game episode that was like a threat and just have it shit completely stomped mm. so and the best bit is though, this is, as I said, it's basic bitch Raiden. This is Raiden before his upgrade for this game. This is Raiden from MGS4. <laughs> this is what he could have done. Well, I mean, MGS4 Raiden had no arms. Oh, no. He's at least and got he, arms. Yeah, and he beat all the frogs with no arms. 
I am the lightning star. Bye. <laughs> Cyborgs exist, mate. Excuse me. <laughs> Get out the fucking way. Are you ready for it though? Oh, it's so fucking cool. The Akira shot. Can I do it though? Sick bro. I am running. Uh, he's doing burnouts without the like, without car. Just ninja guide in it. And originally you were supposed to be able to do that in the game. Uh, wall running was a thing in the original like demos and stuff. They couldn't figure out a way to make it not look stupid, oh. so they just took it out. But originally you were supposed to be able to like, run on everything. And I believe there's another data store. Oh no, because I've started a completely new game, so I won't have any of my stuff from this one, which is which means all the data stories will be back. So there should be another one on this train. You have to turn around from. The... Yes, like you have to jump over something. It's just below it, so I want to keep an eye out. I think it's like down here. Maybe. No, maybe I'm getting it wrong. Okay. Could have sworn there was something on that train. I'll probably missed it, and there's someone yelling at us right now. Uh. <laughs> That's it's so harsh what they've done to him. <laughs> Is it, they've chained him up. Is there like, why have you done this? Why have they not killed him yet? Well, the worst bit is, uh, he's threatening to kill him, and spoilers, he just kills him in like two seconds. Well, why would he put that much effort in and not just Exactly, kill him the spot? It because it's a Metal Gear game and it doesn't matter. Nice shoes though. And the story is the um, typical Metal Gear Solid nonsense. They want to start a war yeah. because the war economy is the only way to. Like, thank you. I just want to cut things apart with my robot sword. You ain't listening. listening. Good accent. Oh. Now you just freed him. Like, yeah. All the effort you spent chaining him up. Very much. Like, they only had him for about like five minutes for all ride and just turned off. And here he is, the big dick G himself, Jetstream fucking Sam. Oh, so good. Oh, you're saying. Give more a chance. <laughs> oh, that's I mean, blood. That looks like blood. That's real, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that! This reverse Agent Forty Seven lucky motherfucker. Uh, there's something about that as well that I find really harsh. Yeah. It's the they throw his body just off a moving train, and it just lands and just bounces. It's like Joe in um, films when someone gets thrown out of a car. That always makes me go. Oh, Cause it's the idea of like throwing someone out of the car and then they just get hit by a car behind them and the person doesn't stop. Right, so, um, spoilers for this fight, Brad. You can't beat Jetstream, Sam. Is this how you end up with your better body? Yeah, he, he, he beats the ever loving shit. You cannot beat him, you can't do any damage, but his theme song is fucking awesome. Let's do this. I think like that's hidden around his hair and his ear. I like to think it's like a little drone. <laughs> it just so, lands on his face. Yeah, so you can't beat Jetstream Sam during this mission. It, it as evidenced by the fact he doesn't have a life bar. Oh, yeah. And if you parry his even if you parry his attacks, he still does damage. Look. And he stuns you. So this is supposed to be like to establish that he's going to fuck you up. Yeah. I've just come off beating the shit out of Metal Gear Ray. And he's kicking my ass. Oh yeah, I always forget Raiden's completely self-taught. Like, he taught himself how to whoop ass. He taught himself how to be a robot. No, not how to be a robot, but fight with a sword. Oh, oh god. Uh, why? It lacks something. I'm a robot, mate. It's fucking quite jet stream, Sam. I will be honest, if I saw a guy start doing this shit in like a fight with a sword... Oh god, no. First time you played this at this point, you're like, what yeah, the fuck? yeah, because he just whoops your ass, he kicks your ass so fucking hard. Like even if you look at him on the walls, look, fucking badass man. There it is. Oh, wait, wait, where is it? Oh shit, he's just doing comp. You know what? Beat this <laughs> you're gonna go out, you're gonna go out in style. Just spin to win. You deny your weapon. The idea is, it's, oh yeah, like you're not killing people. I killed 30 people to get here. Yeah, I am absolutely 100% not denying my weapon its purpose. 
Ouch. Yeah, blood of your enemies, you holy bat. I did you not see how many people's ankles I cut off? That's what I got. I only got cut off people's ankles. <laughs> when they look at Ryder's mission report, it's like, Ryder, why did you just cut off so many people's ankles? Like, I would argue cutting off someone's head is less sadistic than just cutting off their ankles. Yeah, brutal, isn't it? And now he's salt on fire. As if this game couldn't get any fucking more awesome. Look at that. We've got a flaming samurai sword being swung at a robot that has now got an eye missing. Here it is. Gun sword, mate. Get fucked. Oh. Dragon Force starts playing in the background through the fire and the flames. But oh no! Oh! That is how you win in a quick draw. I like to think as well, he has to reload his, his sword. <laughs> as cool as it is, if it has got a magazine, that means it takes bullets. <laughs> Shit, not again. <laughs> he actually does say it. He loses his arm in like every game he's in, doesn't he? He's, he's, he might as well be a Star Wars character at this point, <laughs> with how often he gets his arm caught. You can still swing in this fight as well. Uh, says a lot about Ryzen though, that he's fair play to him, he's swinging. He's at least having a crack. Yeah. Just run away. It's not worth it, man. Just go and stand You know what? Through. No. I'm, I'm yeah, done. Just, just walk Ga away. I've had too much to drink, mate. I'm going out. It's like, Carl, no, come on, we'll do shots. <laughs> no, not for me. Do you want a taxi? No, I'm fine. Oh. How dare you leave the club? Why has his robot hand got fingernails? And why so are they... scratch people. Oh. Because he gets an itch on his robot back. That's a fair point. Yeah. It's over. His hair's real as well, I think. I think Raiden's like his, his face is like the only real part of him left. Like Robocop. Basically. Very very much like Robocop in fact, because there's almost nothing human left of Raiden in that body. Now I think they even say when they repair him, like, your eye just doesn't work. Like we had to like we couldn't give you a new eye, so we replaced it with a camera. Which is probably arguably better. Yeah, they say it's a 200 megapixel camera. Like, you know what, that's pretty good. Probably better than it. He takes pictures. He's, every time he puts an ankle off, he takes a snapshot. Yeah, not to mention as well, like you say, oh, your eye, unlike a human eye, your robot eye can zoom in. Which is pretty good. Uh, well, can, can your eyes not zoom in? No. Only if I move my head close to the object. <laughs> Just defeats the... Imagine if you're like, my camera's got a great zoom on it. Just push the camera in. <laughs>